<laughs> all righty, right. So I guess I should pull up some numbers. We can do that, but y'all tell me something good while I'm doing that. Tell me what's going on in your life. Well, my oldest daughter just left this morning from a, she got here Wednesday. So we got a nice long visit with her. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah. How far, where, where does she live? She live over here? No. She lives in Austin. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Yeah, South Austin. Yeah. But when I'm there, usually, you know, there's so many places that, you know, I don't get to spend the whole time with her. So yeah. this time it was nice. Good visit. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. What's up with you, Shannon? Lots of, what is it, Taekwondo or what is, what do they do? <laughs> Jiu-jitsu. 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 Uh, my husband's gone for 10 days, so for another oh. week, gone. <laughs> We're ah. To Utah for an off-road thing with some of his guy friends. Gracious. That's um, not good. We need to pray for Shannon. Yeah, he's going to owe you a big-time girls trip, huh? That's what, yeah. I, that's what I told him, that he owes me big time. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he just had that whole quarantine vacation. <laughs> I know. That was 10 days, too. Oh, Bruce. Oh, I zoomed in. Now I can't find my report. Hang on. I'm making messes. <coughs> Trying to see everything, and I'm not doing very well. All right. So let's just do a little bit of let's see what's going on. So a few little celebrations. Some people are hit certified and were active, and I really can't find it. Where to go? It disappeared. We have hit team numbers. We're at 109 party peeps, which is very exciting. For some reason, I can't get it to do the right report. I think it's the way I zoomed my thing so I could still see Zoom, and now it's messed me up. Okay, maybe there we go. Almost there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. So last week I was in, I had been feeling well. I mean, bad for three full weeks. I really did not feel myself. I finally feel much more myself. Very little bit of the stuff left. So I'm very thankful for that because that was no fun. I don't like not feeling good. I'm sure most people don't, but I really don't like it because it affects my personality, my energy level. I don't like any of those things. So thankful for good health today and feeling better. Um, although I saw all the allergies are still really high, so probably shouldn't go outside. <laughs> although I'll be outside a lot, but oh, whatever. Um, okay. We have a lot more people active. Um, I'm going to start with the people over 500 because we're past the middle of all oh, Shannon's going to get an honorable mention. She's really close. Well, uh, I have I have orders collected. I just I know you do. I know you do. It's good. All right. And so I have people, three NFL warmers. Right. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah. Just like people like keep be like, oh, I didn't get it then, and then you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Two big ones and one small one. Cool. That's fun. All right, we've got Leslie and Heather W. Michelle Holla, Kara. Mm-hmm. Anne, Jesse, Melanie, me, and Amy. And Amy is our top sales person right now. She's over a thousand. She's she, I bet she gets to two thousand this month. That's exciting. And one other thing I think I'll do. <coughs> who has the most in the group? Let's we'll see who the group leader is. Melanie. Or you? Melanie. It is well, it's me, but it's Melanie and then Michelle and Shannon. Y'all are right in a row. So uh, Melanie is, oh, she's, she's over halfway to superstar pay. So maybe she, you know, they could do it. They could totally do it. And Michelle, you're getting pretty close. You're not too far from getting paid at title. So hopefully the end of the month comes in strong for everybody. Um, we have had a few new recruits this month. Melanie is on fire. She has four new recruits this month. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. I know. And one of her people has somebody, her first person. So Juanita got a new person on our team. So that's very exciting. We added five new people this month. Um, we're very, very excited about that. All right. On the calendar, is anything happening this week? Anybody know? Tomorrow, the Marvel products. <gasps> is it the Black, the Black Panther? Sorry. Oh, that had so much buzz. Like I, 
Isn't need... that tomorrow? That's tomorrow. I'm looking right now. Where? What is today? 20? Yep, tomorrow is the Black Panther launch. So that's exciting. And then zero on the 23rd. Yes, and I, I mean, I don't know for sure, but like the video. not even on the calendar. Yeah, but it's on the product. What Maybe song? because it was released and it's just supposed to be happening that it's day. It's just delayed, yeah. Yeah, because also the the spooky buddies or the whatever they are, the bitty buddies, bitty. Yes, yes. I want to call them bitty babies, but bitty buddies, they are supposed to be available on the 23rd as well, which is good because I've got some interest in those. So, so yeah, some of those things are happening, hopefully. And cotton cleanups were supposed to be back then. I sure hope they are. Oh. And the... I've got those in my club. Me too. Have yours come in the club? Um, not since last month, maybe, I guess. Mine haven't come because I've put two in my club now because I'm like, I, I keep running out. Anyway, sorry. What were you saying, Shannon? Oh, that the bricks come out on the 27th and that's when the NFL is out too on the 27th. 27th, yes. And can we order those little bars right now? The bars of the sam of the smells? I didn't look that up. I should have. I don't know. They were going to have, you could get them in the bars because I'm closing a party. I'm hoping tonight I'm trying so hard. <laughs> Got a hostess kind of dragging her feet. Um, I did a Facebook party last night, Colby and I did it together because we, I prefer to do a zoom when I do a, a online party so that I can see people and try to get some interaction um, because doing Facebook lives, they're not my favorite. They just really aren't. Some people are so good at them. Uh, you to, I, I do them and I'm okay, but then you have to like read the comments or there's no comments and you just feel like you're talking to yourself. Um, and then of course I'm super corny. So I crack corny jokes and then think, no, haha, like I laugh at myself, but I don't know if they're laughing or rolling. Their eyes. <laughs> so I don't love Facebook live parties, but I did it last night. And it was nice because Colby, the boys had all gone to the UT game and Ben was gone. So um, it was, you know, I could have put her in front of something and made her go watch something, but she's so uh, into it. It was really nice because I could play off her a little bit. And anyway, I, we only had two people attend. So that's the thing about them. You know, I, I spent probably 45 minutes. I went through a lot of our products and had some interaction from the two, but one was the host and one was her mom. So that remains a challenge for me is, is getting the people. Um, my host daughter had just come down with COVID. And so I said, do you want to postpone? She's like, no, we're here anyway. I might as well do it. Um, but I think that there wasn't as much, I could have done more coaching. I did send her things like this time. And I might've shared this already, but in my basket party, when I gave it to her, I, instead of, I always just fold up product sheets and maybe put a sample or like the harvest brochure, if it's that time of year. And I make sure there's 12 to 15 so that she can really hand them out and, and whatever. A lot of times they come back and they haven't even handed very many out. They're almost all still there, which is frustrating when you say that, listen, like get it in their hands, you know, I've got made samples. Um, but this time I just put them in envelopes. I did not put anything on the envelope. I left it for her to do. Like I told her like, Hey, if they're local, just put their name, put the date and the time of your party, which I should have done that. I should have like put a label that said, here's our party. But I think when she came by, we hadn't said it yet. So it was a little problematic. Um, we knew kind of when we were doing, but we hadn't nailed down the date. So anyway, that was one thing I'm curious when I get that basket back, if she handed them out, she is getting outside orders, which is good. She already had some, and she had one person who ordered nine counter cleans online. Oh, wow. <laughs> the same scent. Nine. Was it nine? nine? The same scent? Which one? Lemon verbena. I'm pretty sure. Wow. I think it was lemon verbena. I didn't double check. It looked like it. Um, so, but I was just laughing because I was like, did she make a mistake? That's crazy. <laughs> but she said, no, she's an older lady. I, I can't remember exactly what she said, but she loves it. She's obsessed with it. I'm like, okay, cool. Awesome. <laughs> uh, you never know. But I know like there are several things, you know, things people are interested in. So hopefully it'll be a good one. Yeah, she has a clean house, apparently. It says she raises chickens or something. I'm not really sure how that relates to needing counter. <laughs> maybe she just likes the smell. I don't know. Cleans up the salmonella. Yeah, maybe so. <laughs> well, um, Shannon, how was your Facebook party? I know you did the Visley template and it was just a cook in. What did you? Um, I mean, she had, um, let me look back can't exactly remember it was really i mean august was just a bad 
month because I was supposed to do it the week before we actually did it. But then that's when Chad had COVID and I'm like, I'm so overwhelmed with everything. I can't do this right now. So we pushed it back um, a week. And then, I mean, there was some and I got, you know, it was a lot of firsts for me. I sent out the stuff and I think pretty much everybody ordered. Um, but, and I got one person um, had contacted me. She lives just on 183 and um, she didn't care for the cozy cardigan stuff that she got. She got like a pot, the pods and a scent circle in cozy cardigan. So she came over um, Wednesday and I let her just trade it with something that I had in stock. And she ended up spending like $105 more on pods. And That's um, good. she got three, like she's transitioning away from the wax and stuff and trying to do more of the pods because she's got two young girls and stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So, um, so she got three more of the um, mini diffuse fan diffusers. So one, two of them with the lights, and then one without the light that she had already purchased um, previously. So, um, so it was good. Um, I love that you brought that up because a lot of times people, especially if you've just started, if someone tells you, "I don't like what I ordered," you have a dilemma because you know you know, you kind of have to be the one to, to make the change. Right. And so a lot of people are like, I can't afford to do it, but look what happened. Like you gave good customer service. You said, sure. I mean, she didn't get to smell it. Right. Cause it was an online party. You were yeah. like, oh. you know, as a consultant, you can probably sell that. If you can't resell it, you can use it for a door prize. I mean, I, I like cozy card yeah. Use it for yourself. And so that's a good example of you were being a, a really good consultant and you were accommodating. And then she wound up buying a lot more. So, and probably yeah. she'll be loyal to you because she's not only appreciates that you did that for her. And now she knows you and she knows that you are a great consultant. So I think that's awesome. So the, the party had 373 in sales. That's great. So. I mean, it was a decent amount. She, she got a diffuser and then some, um, some, um, oils and stuff, which was nothing that was on her wish list that I had like posted about that. She was like trying to earn, but then like the warmer, she said she wanted, she's like, her husband didn't like those. And so she kind of just went like a totally different route. Yeah. At least she got something. Um, hopefully she's happy with That's exciting. Yeah. She okay. says she loves it. And, um, so did so, you yeah. feel you how long did you post a week or two weeks it was one week did you feel you had a lot of posts did you think it was too many um I don't <laughs> know maybe so I mean I felt like it was something about like all the different products and stuff and we have so many products it's like you don't necessarily want to leave yeah. something out but um but yeah so yeah so I just did mine. We opened it. It wasn't a full week. I think we did it. Um, I don't know. We might have opened it Tuesday or something. And then we did the party on Sunday. So it wasn't quite a Sunday to Sunday. Um, I feel like a, a Sunday to Sunday is probably a good thing. Something like about a week is good. Um, I did schedule posts. I didn't use Visly, but I scheduled some posts. And I also, I went through and made all my videos for my catalogs this time for the QR codes. Um, it's funny because I did them all in one day because I was just trying to get them done because then you got to make the QR codes and you got to, or you got to upload the videos, you know, you got to do all the things. It's such a process. Um, and I just kind of did them on a day where I was starting to feel kind of bad. And I was watching the videos because I was posting them and used to them for my party as well. I didn't do every single one, but I did about 10 of my videos, which I probably did 17 videos maybe for my whole catalog thing. Um, and I would just label it like video one, uh, all about our warmers or whatever. And then I post the video at first, I was just posting a video. And second, I thought, well, I should post it from YouTube because maybe someone will like my channel and subscribe or, you know, it's just getting out there more. Um, but I don't know how many people really watched them. I know the host watched them, but that's still the tricky part is getting people to show up and interact. Um, having your hostess message them and remind them is good. But anyway, I don't know. I'm, I am not, I don't mind doing Facebook parties and I always tell them I'm happy to try, but I still think it's challenging to get awesome participation. So um, anyone who watches this, who's like, oh, I'm really good at Facebook parties, feel free to let me know and you can do a training for us. I just think it's tricky. People are busy right now. So um, 
I did it in an event this time. I've gone back and forth. I used to do them in events uh, and they've kind of changed now the way when I set it up from the last time I've done it in an event, uh, it actually says, is this a live event, you know, in person or a Facebook live event? And so when I set it up, what's so cool is when I went live at the time of the party, when you go to that event now, my live video is like the header and it just plays. That's kind of interesting. I didn't know that. Like I haven't done it in so long. That's a Facebook change. So that's kind of cool. Um, of course, the tricky thing is, I don't know if you've run into this, but when you make an event, it, you know, like I wanted them to know that the live portion of this event is Saturday night at seven o'clock. So that's the time I put. And I put it like from seven to 745 because I knew I was going to go about 30 minutes. But um, if I didn't put a little pass, like it'd just be like, you can't even find it right away. Like it's over and it's like in past events, right? So I, I know that when I used to try to go in and change the date to like be open longer, once it started, you couldn't do that, but it let me, I don't know if I caught it like a minute before or whatever, but I was able to like keep the event open until tomorrow. So I just kept the start time at Saturday at seven, is that making sense? And I just kept it, I, I changed it to like close it Monday, which now I'm probably gonna keep it open. I'm gonna try to go change it to like Wednesday. But I know there's a lot of debate about whether or not to do it in an event, a group, you know, a group that you make just for that party, your VIP group. The reason I didn't do it, I wanted to kind of try it my VIP group, but since I've linked my business page, uh, I can't just add people to my VIP group. They have to have liked my page. Have y'all noticed that? Yeah. Yeah. So I when I did, so I did that last party in my VIP page. And so, um, I did a jot form and at the end of a jot form, you can put a link where when they hit submit that's where it'll go right. so it's it asked it went to like the to my page and then they had to um, submit it and request to join and then I could keep track that way and I would message people hey I see that you are you I got your form I sent your stuff but I see that you haven't joined um, the VIP page for the party and I just would resend the link Okay. Uh, and that cool. worked out fine. The main, um, like one of the things is like, well, we don't know, they don't know when it's starting or not, even though I kind of posted some of that stuff. And along with just, you know, my normal posts that I'm posting in there. Um, it is confusing. So, I mean, I sent a mess, I, I texted everybody and let them know, like it is starting and we're posting groups. So please interact, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Um, so that was just one of the things, the feedback that I got was that it was a little bit yeah. confusing. And then I just couldn't get my life together really to go live. It's not my favorite thing anyway, but with yeah. boys having COVID and, and everything, you know, I just right. Right. couldn't really make so, that work for me. I get it. In, in a VIP group, can you make an event though? Um, I don't know. VIP group? I don't think so. I tried and I could not. No, I just out. posted on it. Yeah. Well, and, and I think, you know, like Kimberly Paluto, one of her things is she basically goes live like every Thursday night. And right. so if she's added people in, then that's the party and it's just a habit. Um, I, I would like to do that, but boy, life, it's hard to do that right now to have a set time because the, to, yeah, to do on every, every single night time, right now, every day. Um, it would have to be week. like Sunday after I do this. I just say, as soon as I do this, then I'm going live and that's my party every week. I mean, that's basically all that would work for me right now. But yeah, so I'll keep brainstorming on maybe what works best, but I do find interaction is tricky and, or just getting them there and them knowing and what's the clearest way to do it. Um, but anyway, hopefully uh, we can get some parties. Anybody got any other parties going? No, so I, so I did have um, one of my really good customers her husband's with APD too and so she got the um the coastal the one with like the grass kind of wrapped around it mm -hmm. and I know that they had it like went away and then it came back and she really doesn't like it she's asking to like switch mm -hmm. it for some bars and stuff which it's she wants some of the new bars which I don't really have anything not all of them in stock right now. And that warmer is like 50 or $60 too. Yeah. Um, so though I actually had previously gotten one. So it came in July, I think while we were gone. So I had just like put everything in my office and I totally forgot I even had it. But the one that came 
came broken. Mm. Um, and so I gave her the one that I had, um, and it does look a little bit different than what the picture is. So I don't know if, is there anything that yeah. supports you in that situation like it's not um, if you think that it, it actually like isn't a good I haven't seen that warmer in person was I, I mean look it up um if you think that it's actually maybe poor quality and it just isn't good maybe um I mean I've never had oh, yeah. a warmer that like, one yes yeah, so pretty much the entire top of it the one that I got just now is was broken almost all the way to where the grass part starts and the other one it seemed like really th like thin like poor quality thin compared to like our other warmers that we have even the other glass warmers that I've gotten before and the color is a little bit lighter than what um on the grass part as well as the the teal um part on it too than what yeah so I'm looking, this is one of those things where, you know, they've done this in this catalog where they've put the warmer and then they show a real life picture. Yeah. Um, do you think like it is, I can tell that's a little bit lighter. That's, it does yeah. look a little different. Do you think this is a more accurate representation or it still looked different to you? I, I didn't light it up because the one I have now left at my house is broken. So I can't really light it. <laughs> well, you should call Cincy about the broken one. They'll replace that. Yeah. Yeah. I, know. I, I just, that, but <laughs> Yeah, um, that didn't have a broken last week. I haven't been able yeah. to yeah. call them. Take care of that, but I don't know. That's a tricky one. What do you what would you say, Michelle? I mean, I would say the same thing, I guess. I mean, so you're saying that hers looks off or she thinks it looks off? Yeah, the and and the the part the quality of it is not usually what I would say since he yeah. I mean, I would at least ask them. I mean, maybe there was something wrong with it. Cause I know uh, they had like taken it away for a while and I don't remember exactly what it was. Yeah. Um, for that specific. Know, Cause this is kind of that same thing. So ask Cincy, first of all, just say, we, yeah. we feel like there's a quality issue. I, I would lay out the reasons you feel like it yeah. is not Cincy standards. If they say, yeah, no, this warmer, that's what it is. Um, then you have to make that call. And it's very similar to what we were talking about earlier with that other yeah. customer. This one's hard because it's a $60 warmer. That's, that's, it's a 60. Yeah. I think she got it when it last month when it was, or in July when it was on sale, but so. Gotcha. Cause um, I let her, Hey, it's back and it's on sale. So she got it. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's a, there's two schools of thought. Uh, one is, you know, just take care of your customer. She doesn't like it. You know, you want yeah. to make it right and you want to go that extra mile. So take it. Well, back. I thought it would be another warmer that she would want that I might have in stock or something. And then well, it wouldn't that's be what like I might say is I can't do it for bars, but I can do it for anything of the value in my stock. That's probably what I would do because yeah. with this one, first of all, you're a little worried about getting stuck with this warmer because you, you know, if it's not a great quality and it's not up to stuff, yeah. I haven't sold any of this one. Have you, Michelle? No, I haven't. So some warmers, you know, like, oh, no worries. Cause you know, you're going to sell it. Like it's right. popular or eventually if you put it out, someone will like it. Uh, with this one, if you're disappointed in the quality, um, it's probably, probably not the best thing. So I would at least say it has to be stuff from my stock. Yeah. Personally. And I don't really want to replace the one that's broken with the same one either. <laughs> will they let me get something that's the same amount? Um, you know, the, the, I don't know, you'll have to just call and ask. Cause I don't think that's really usually what happens. I think it has to be like, it's the discontinued. Same. And so you can't get it and they'll do the same amount, but yeah. you can just, just call and talk. Cause you, it never hurts to ask. Right. I personally don't yeah. think it hurts to call twice too. You might get someone with a different answer, but you know, yeah. but that one's a little harder. Um, Melanie, what's going on? Oh, I'm just leaving for so as soon as I finished, I was like, I gotta jump on the call. So I'm sorry I'm sweaty. Um, no, no, but I have no. a sinky shirt on. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I'm yes. To see your beautiful face. Um, congrats on your four new team members. Yeah. Congratulations. Five yeah. because of Juanita. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Yes. Yes. So that was that was good. Um, and then I had hope I have one more. I literally started. Um, is it my can I talk or no? I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're good. Can I talk? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, so 
I start. I did have a couple parties going, and usually I try to find someone to put in there so that they always say, "Don't leave a a party without getting a kit." And I really have been like, "Oh, I can get you here for twenty dollars." You know, I'll just kind of just use my credits or whatever. But I stopped doing that because the people I was kind of doing it to, some of them have been, you know, really trying and working hard. But for most of them, it's not. So this time I was like, "Hey, I have these fifty nine dollar kits. It's a great thing. Um, they come with the extra warmer, so you're getting this, 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 and you can even." try to win an incentive and I was like I only have two of them and I got three people right away nice. like, within like an hour and a half or two hours so it's just about coaching I guess and I've been working with uh, my newest per- the person that started last week and she's uh, she's like um eighty dollars away from um shooting star and um nice. yeah and that's like in yeah that's like in six days and she actually was because she she texts all the time which I love because I don't know what what's too much and I feel like I kind of overwhelm people when I'm coaching but I was like please text me and so um she asked me about the the diffuser and I was like oh yeah that's the whole thing and so then she called right back and was like you know what he just bought it and I was like wow that if you're selling diffusers already in your first six days you're gonna be awesome that's so, awesome. for sure yeah. I know. Um, I haven't been able to make samples or anything, but I just have to do it. I'm sorry I didn't get to do our challenge and all that stuff, but I'm going to go live today and just make, since you said the thing where you said, just do, make them up. I'm going to have to make up all day. Like, right. everything just do whatever. Do, just do something. That's what I always yeah. say. Challenges are great. Sometimes you're like, yep, I needed something. Here I go. And it's set and I'm going to do it. And sometimes life gets in the way and you can't do it. Don't beat yourself up move on and just do something. I love the song from frozen too. just do the next right thing because I get completely stress paralyzed. I've shared that with you guys. Like I get too many ideas. I want to do it all. And I want to do it all perfectly. And then I wind up not doing any of it and then feeling crummy about it. And I hate yeah. that. So I've tried to just say, you know what? Okay. I didn't get the whole giant mail out that I wanted done. And I'm still struggling, but if I get five out to this week, great. You know, like that's five more. So just do the next thing. Now, anybody going to do any events like live events, like fairs, craft shows, anybody think about that or. Um, I'm trying to. Um, October. Oh. Michelle, you got one in October. Yeah. The end of October, the 30th, we always have a little downtown Halloween thing and it's usually pretty successful. So I'm hoping. Good. That's good. Yeah. Good. Have lots of inside or outside. outside? It's outside. Okay. Yeah. Lots of kids from the neighboring towns come. So it's it, like I said, it's usually pretty. Last year, of course, was not as busy because of COVID. So, I'm, you know, this year, I don't know really what to expect, but I think there'll probably be more people. Yeah. And hopefully they're like really needing Cincy. So I'm like, right. I needed that. Right. Michelle, I mean, um, uh, Shannon. Santa Rita Ranch, the neighborhood by us, they have a farmer's market um, that they do. I think it's like once a month or something like that. So um, the last time I tried to, I, I had sent an inquiry and they weren't like really responsive as they're like, fill out this form. And then that's like all I heard. So I'm like, okay, maybe they're not letting Cincy do it. And then she texts me like the, that week is like, can you do it? And that was when we had COVID in our house and stuff. Uh-huh. So I'm like, no, can't do it. Um, so um, and I've been like trying to like go to it to see like how busy it is. And, yeah. um, cause I'm like, cause you have to do a pop-up and, you know, it's just a lot of manual labor <laughs> with all of that. <laughs> I really hate the tents, but, um, so some of, there's a family that is in, um, Mason's jujitsu class and they live in Santa Rita and it's like, they actually live pretty close to where, um, it is in the neighborhood. So I was asking her yesterday at the jujitsu tournament to see like if it was, um, pretty busy and stuff. And she said that, you know, you, it's like 10 to two or something like that. And, um, she said, usually like the first half, the, the morning is usually busier. Um, but she thinks that the sensei, there has not really ever been a sensei person out there, but she thinks it would probably do well. Um, with, so. with events, especially when you're not sure how great they're going to be, uh, because they're unknown or they haven't happened a lot. 
um, or you've done it and it wasn't great, it, whatever reason, something for anyone watching this back. Um, the main thing about events, I used to always go thinking, I'm gonna sell so much stuff I can, and I wanna sell a ton. If I sell this much, I'll feel successful. And then you either hit it and feel good or you don't feel bad. And they're a lot of work. They take a lot because since he uh, boxing up the warmers and stuff is a lot of work and outside ones have their own yeah. unique challenges, right? Of trying not to let your wax melt and all the things. But, um, sorry. Um, I was just going to say that the main reason to do events is networking and trying to get your name out, trying to find people to join the team. Um, and that if that's the focus, then everything else is just gravy, right? Your sales are just gravy, trying to find people that want to host a party that then you can flip um, people who are kind of interested in the business opportunity, giving them a join flyer with a sample is probably your number one thing and getting their information. That's probably number one. Uh, but just knowing that if you do an event, you don't have to have it all you will see people who do giant, giant shows who, who spend hundreds of dollars traveling and entry fees. And, uh, they, they spend a bunch of time doing it and they sell thousands and thousands of dollars of stuff and they out meet people and all that. That's great. That's wonderful. You can maybe team up and do it together with some people. If you're in a place in life, you can do that. But if you're doing like a small church or school fair, a neighborhood thing, just take the most popular waxes, take light bulbs. People always need light bulbs when they're out. If they have a sensey person like, oh, you have light bulbs. Oh, I need some, um, you know, take, takes a few of your favorite things and just make sure you, you are what you're sharing. You're sharing yourself. You're having something that they're going to take home and have, you're going to get a way to contact them and then follow up, follow up's huge. I've done a lot of events where I haven't followed up. It's like wasting it's wasting a lot of that opportunity. So just, you know, I think too, a general rule is, especially if you're just starting out or you don't do a lot of events, don't do them if they, they want more than $50 or a hundred dollars for yeah, sure. I think it's like $20 for a spot with that. And then that sounds good to me. 2025 for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. 50, maybe if you know, it's an established thing and there's a good number of people, um, or you're just willing to know that's an investment you're making. So I'm not discouraging big events. I'm not discouraging, you know, whatever, just think about why you're going to do them. So you don't feel deflated if it doesn't, if you don't sell a ton, um, and go for like building your team and making, you know, hostesses and things like that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Anybody got anything? I, I have noticed that my stock is getting overwhelmingly large right now. Cause I haven't done any events. Yeah. And usually yeah. like occasionally I'll replace warmers with warmers, but then I usually just try and get like wax or other, you know, things like that. Um, but my, my closet is getting very full of things. Um, yeah. and then on the second here in our neighborhood, we have a thing I haven't signed up for October 2nd because I don't, it's right around Mason's birthday. So we haven't exactly pinned down what we're doing for his birthday mm -hmm. yet. So, um, once we do that, I might see if I can still get into it or something. So I did the last one and it was decently busy. And it's just also, you know, since it's in my neighborhood, just like making sure that like people know that I'm also in the neighborhood. And I just was like, what are, where are you at in the neighborhood? You know, I'm here and I have all this at my house, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so one-on-one -on -one -on -one connection. And that's, that's great. That's good. Yeah. And then Santa Rita is not, you know, very far either. So it's just on the so, other side. <laughs> speaking of it, you know, if you're not going to do events because it can't fit in your schedule or you're too overwhelmed by them or whatever reason you decide you don't want to do an actual event, if you're struggling to get parties, um, how can you move product? How can you do it and stay in compliance? Um, I know we've mentioned Facebook Messenger parties. I kind of veered away and I, I was going to do a Facebook Messenger party. And then I wound up doing it as just sending out my Google form with all my stuff. And it did not go well at all. So I, that's still on my list of like my summer bars that I have pulled out um, to do a Facebook yeah. messenger party. It worked really well the last time I did it. And here's my other problem. I have, I have put on there, like on my Google form that I send out a lot and I make different Google forms all the time. Are you interested in being in my, my virtual Facebook messenger party? Yes. So I've had all these people check yes, but now I can't figure out, like, I gotta go back and find them export who said yes. Like, I don't have a good back end of my system. Like the paperwork's getting me down, I guess, because I know there's tons of people who said, yes, I want to be included in one. And I kind of got bogged down in that. And that's why I just like, oh, I'll just email the Google form out. 
but a lot of people did not click on it or, or do it. So I've got to figure out a little something. Not right now. Yeah. And I mean, people are still a little bit not wanting to, to get, you know, together and do things. And so I was yeah. previously, I had done like the porch parties and stuff. So I think I'm going to like try and market that a little bit more, you know, to, again, to like for people, because there's new people moving in our neighborhood all the time, but, um, so tell you know us that, what you mean by porch party, I'm just getting out of your uh, or their porch. Or? Um, I had just done like, um, like what I have in stock, you know, I could order something for them. <laughs> if I didn't have something in stock, I would kind of, um, send them the link and they would let me know kind of what they were interested in or what type of scents. And I would like pull what I had in stock that are like fresh scents or floral or whatever. Um, and then I would bring it out to the porch and we would just kind of be on the porch rather than coming into my house. And then if they said, Oh, well, do you have this one? Then I would just like come back in and then bring it out to the porch. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's good being creative. I was thinking anybody that sits out and watches sports practices, you know, I know consultants who kind of do a little setup on their tailgate. They just have like a, a basket of some of their things and say, Hey guys, anybody wants to, you know, come take turns and you can smell. Um, we don't really sit out like at practice right now. We, we will probably some in the spring we sit in bleachers usually. So I can't do that as well. But, um, but if you have opportunity, I think that's a great thing. Um, Halloween is not like next week or anything, but it's not too soon to start thinking about if you want to be the person who does, um, a trunk or treat, and maybe your theme is a Scentsy thing and you have, uh, you know, samples that you can hand out to the adults or something. Uh, some people do that even just with a regular trick or treating, just be careful with that. You don't want kids eating wax or anything. So make sure you hand it to the adults and it's clearly marked or you tell them, um, yeah, I think that the month has, has improved for a lot of people. I know I was saying, Melanie, you, your group is over halfway to superstar consultant pay. So you still got a couple weeks. I think that could happen. That would be very exciting. So uh, best luck on that. Um, I'm, I, I need to get some more parties too. And just don't get discouraged. And last week I was feeling discouraged because I just didn't have a lot going on. Um, I wasn't feeling well. Uh, it has seemed slower, but there are a lot of people messaging me now just saying, Hey, I need some bars. I'm like, okay, lots of trickle, a lot of little trickle orders. Um, just, I don't know. I think I need to have an open house. I think I definitely need to, it's just so busy for everyone. And I think everybody's kind of gotten overwhelmed. We were talking about that too, just with coming out of COVID and thinking we're out getting back into everything and then being like, psych, we're not out of COVID. It's really bad. And now you're like, uh, we need to do the things, but should we? And you've got all that mental, emotional uh, decision-making happening on every level and everyone's doing that. So I think it, it's just be as creative as you can texting, emailing, saying, Hey, uh, do you need to smell? If not, I'm, I'm placing an order. Do you want me to add some, a six pack of bars for you? Um, things like that. But you guys are doing awesome and I'm really proud of you. So it's, I think if we get a little cool weather, that will help us all too. Like I always know that the retail stores who have all the fall clothes out, <laughs> they're like we need one cold front and we'll sell stuff. Um, I think once it feels a little cooler, people will be like, I need all the spice and, you know, all the smells. So yeah, hopefully that'll yeah, be think, even though it's a hundred degrees, it's still technically fall right now. <laughs> So I, our fall scents are out. Exactly. So it doesn't anyway. feel like it, but it is. Yep. All right. Well, anything else anybody has? If not, we'll go ahead and, and wrap up. But I'm thankful that you guys joined the call. And if y'all have a topic you want us to talk about next week, let me know. Um, I also would be so, so happy if any of the three of you wanted to present on anything or bring a topic up or whatever. So I know everybody's busy, but if anything, just let me know. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Good to see your faces. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.